And that was our children's corner. You know, it's good to encourage children to do whatever creativity you see in them so that when they started this young, before you know it, they become an expert in whatever creativity they are into. Okay, next, I have a guest in-house here. He's right here with me. And he'll be telling us about how best to preserve and conserve our environment. Who do I have here? I have Ahmed Abdulwahab. He is an SDG Global Observer and also an environmentalist. And together, we'll be talking about how best to conserve and preserve our environment. Yeah, welcome to Good Morning, Abuja. Thank you very much. Good morning. Okay. So, I um, we're talking about environmental preservation. What is actually this environmental preservation? Without taking much of our community or society's time, I want to involve a scientific approach about what you said, okay. environmental protection or preservation. The most scientific name we use to call it in the Federal Republic of Nigerian Constitution is environmental conservation. Conservation, okay. conservation is in the 1999 Constitution amended. Mm. Uh, it has a column 195, it talks about mm. environmental conservation, yeah, sure. how okay. to act about it, how government policy makers mm. supposed to act on environmental conservation. Okay. Now, to environmental conservation is a kind of preconditioning of laws, action, expertise, in order to give right to environment. Mm -hmm. Giving right to environment will cause the nation, the country, to have a kind of good water, okay. good soil, mm. good aeration, good environment. Mm. Without giving right to environment, all these factors can never be available and uh, it costs a lot. Okay. What does it cost? If you go to health, mm. most of the diseases we're having in the hospitals, mm. federal hospitals, state hospitals, local government are caused by pollutions, by our water we are taking, mm. the kind of food Oh, we okay. take in okay. the soil we have, yeah. whether it is nutrient or it doesn't have any nutrient, okay. Okay. it is caused by all these factors. For example, I said about soil. Mm. Somebody can be in the same land with you. Mm. You have a farm here, you have a farm here, apply some chemicals. Mm. Your crop doesn't require those chemicals. Mm. So there are crops that are biennial. They can absorb those chemicals till harvest, till storage. Mm. It cannot wipe out from the crop. Mm. And the human being will cook and consume them no. without any clinical advice. Mm. So that's why I said it's a right given to environment. That is environmental conservation. Mm. Mm. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Okay, so now looking at um, so far, how have you been able to, um, like so, usually they say your environment defines who you are. Yeah. So how have you been able in our own way to, to, to kind of, you know, environment is something that you come and distort. Exactly. And how have we as individuals at some point in time been able to distort some of this natural um, environment? Exactly. But human beings are made to be comfortable in the world. Okay. That's why God gave him the brain. Mm. To change the brain. If thousands of lions stay in Abuja, mm. you don't see any difference. All our trees will be okay. Mm. All our water will be okay. Mm. Everything will go natural. Mm. But human being is meant to destruct and make things happen okay. for human being to endure and also to survive well. Mm. And what are those things human being does? It's constructions, mm. company, mm. workplace like this place. Mm. For the first hundred years, this particular place is a forest that every, every, every animal, every, uh, what do you call it? Every animal is, habit, is in habit in this particular place. Mm. And they feel well, they are comfortable mm. with the environment. But when human being came, he has to destruct all the environment, cut trees, send away some animals, and make this place lively for us to survive and work like this. Mm. Now, we build houses, we build companies. These are destructions to environment, natural resources. Mm. Now, there is a law in Federal Republic of Nigeria mm. Act that says when you cut one tree, you plant 10. Okay. It is there in the, in, in the, in the national law, mm. which is our uh, 1999 constitution okay. amended. Now, I want to ask you, do you see this kind of practices being practiced by Nigeria? Mm. Some, it doesn't. Some, 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 some actually do like some If 80% are not do doing it, yeah, if 80% are not doing it, to me as an environment, we are not doing it. Okay. We are detrimental to environment. Mm -hmm. 
So the issue of destruction of the environment caused by human beings is not managed by the knowledge God gave us. Okay. By the constitution we call our laws, mm. it's plated everything that has to be done by the environment is destructed. Okay. One thing or the other you do, you have another replica to do. Mm. When you cut a tree, you're supposed to bring 10, ten. and nurture ten them to the existence the way God has existed in before. Okay. So there are kind of combustion we are doing here mm. in Nigeria. Like you drove a car mm. down to this place. You are destroying our environment. Mm. You're releasing a carbon dioxide. Mm. You're releasing hazardous substances going into the air. Yeah. And that thing alone can reduce the rainfall, if you don't know. Okay. The gen you own, mm. you're destructing the air. Mm. You're mm. bringing inhalation to hazard condition. Mm. Me and you have destruction when we have on our gen. If you don't have remedy to it, that is why the environmentalists encourage us. Okay to go to solar, because it doesn't oh. have any effect okay. on humanity. Mm -hmm. Like when I, if you have a gen, I can convert it for you to be using your gas cylinder. Okay. Instead of using petrol mm. that has combustion. Mm. Instead of that, our company, Warmly Global Resources, can now come to your house and convert it to the gas you are using to cook. Okay. And it consumes a lot. That thing conserves environment. Okay. Because you are not releasing the carbon monoxide carbon dioxide to atmosphere. Okay. And the atmosphere has what we call ozone layers. layers yeah. These are the layers that protect us from the hardship of sunlight. Mm. And this hardship of sunlight causes a lot of things. Let me tell you one. Mm. You may have your father's farm. Yeah, you okay. cultivate like 10 bags of what you call rice or rice. granite mm. in the first 20 years. Mm. I bet you, today, you cannot produce more than five Bags yes. of rice from that. What is causing it? Yeah. Because of the trees cut, yeah. there is no shade for this sand to be so well yeah, okay. so that you cannot deflate the nitrogen, deflate the sulfur, deflate the uh, other substances and the, what do you call it. Yeah. Those things are very vital to soil. Oh, okay. And by the time you cut trees, you're exposing sunlight to those sand, mm. and that is the end of your farm. Mm. And that is why you see people mm. coming to mm -hmm. uh, artificial but fertilizers, yes. and they are detrimental to our life. Oh, oh. So these are all things I can mention thousands yeah, of them, yeah. if you yeah. permit me. So what, what, what can be the solution now to some of these many things? And where, where can we say, where should government come in? How can government tackle some, some of these many things that have been caused now by individuals, yeah. by humans? Yeah. How can they come in? I discussed with you earlier about mm. the government laws, environmental laws that are in the Federal Republic of Nigeria okay. 1999 constitutions, 196 pages. I told you, government has stipulated laws. Mm. It's just that in Nigeria, some people are godfathers, some people doesn't do their work. Mm. You're here sitting down doing your work. Do you think every Nigerian is doing his work? Mm. He's not doing his work. Now, Somebody cultivated the land, harvested all the trees, and threw them out, mm. used it for cooking. Two things. He cultivated, he cut out all our trees, and those trees he sold them for combustion to exist, for firewood. Mm. You see two effects. Mm. One, cutting trees and bringing combustion to the atmosphere. Mm. Now, government had never intervened. There are environment departments that pay salary. Mm. The Federal Republic of Nigeria is paying them salary. Mm. But most of them are not doing their job because of the little pin, pin, uh, pin, pin that they used to give them. Mm. And that peanut will not take them to any level. Mm. Now, government has policies. Mm. This policy said, when you do this, you go to this. When you do this, we have Act, Climate Act. We have environmental laws in the Constitution. Mm. We have many laws in Nigeria but the activity of implementing them is zero. Mm. It's zero, me and you know. Mm. These people are very good in, have, in putting cashew nut trees in. Mm -hmm. When you want to buy a land, you see Gwari, they mm -hmm. have planted mm -hmm. a cashew lot nut. of cashew nuts. Yeah. It is very good to environment. But when you yeah. buy the land, what is going to happen? You cut them. You cut everything and you, you construct the house without considering any one cashew in that particular house. Mm. It's very official. It's constitutional for each and everyone to follow the Federal, Federal Republic of Nigerian Constitution to plant a tree. If you cut one, you plant 10. Oh, okay. And you not show them to the end. Mm. And the Minister of Environment is responsible to go and send their people 
into all the society, into all the communities to checkmate which house doesn't have trees on it. No, it's actually something that it can is be a law. Oh, it's a law that people should. There is department so, for that. So what if, if if it's checked and what is there any? Uh, is there there any is fine, fine for it. Oh, there's fine. What's Since 1999, okay. there is a fine for it. For it, well, exactly. one, there's no tree in your house. Exactly. It's actually punishable. It's supposed to be oh. taken to the court. Oh, really? I'm telling you. Okay. In 2000, in 1990, mm. there was a law that sent court, mobile court, mm. to checkmate. Mm most of the cities in Nigeria on people that didn't plant a tree in their houses mm. in 1990. Mm. And that law is there by Nigerian, and they are Nigerian breaking it, and there is office made for that, mm. and they are being paid salary to do their responsibility. Me and you are doing my job, mm. and at the end of the day, those guys are not doing it. Mm. It's no more an ethics for environmentalists to come to your house. I have never seen it since 1990. Mm. Mm. So these are the government laws. Mm, okay. There are climate laws. That the whole country of the world, mm. 196 countries sat in UK and US in 1995. Is it 2005? Sorry. Mm, mm. 2005, 196 countries mm. sent a representative of president and his secretaries okay. that would take adventures of what they discussed. Mm. And they discussed 17 goals of SDGs. Okay. These 17 goals of SDGs. One of, almost nine of them has to do with environment. Mm. How do we set guard and conserve our environment? Mm. And they promise mm. to deposit every president. The United Nations deposit almost 50% of the money to conserve environment in each country. Okay. It is there in the Mr. President office. The, 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 the documents are there. The documents are there in the Prime Minister of Environment. Mm. It's there in the state. It's there in the local government. This place they made is to make Nigeria the best. Okay. Is to make the country the best. And this place was made in 2005 after the 2000 place they made in eight goals of MDG okay. to conserve environment. Government made an effort to review those documents and they went back to 2005 to review the document. When they reviewed the document, they now found that the MDG didn't do any sense. Didn't make any sense. So let us review them. That is how they brought other SDGs, like other, uh, apart from eight, they now added and it became 17 goals of SDGs. Okay. And I told you, nine of them are talking about how to preserve environment. Mm. Each president signed to the country mm. in, in, in US that we agree, we are going to conserve environment. We agree, we are going to deposit 40%. Mm. The state government is, has promised to deposit 10%. Mm. Then the local government are the observers because they are the one in the community. Mm. Now, at the end of the day, the SDGs since 2000 to 2030 mm. is going to end in 2030. Mm. And the whole president approved that and they appeal that they are going to approve it. Okay. And they are going to sanction anybody. Mm. To me, the SDG is not accomplished up to 30% in Nigeria. Mm. Me and you knows about it. Okay. How many cars are causing combustion in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Rwanda alone that took that promise. Today, they are producing cars that has no combustion. combustion. They, use, okay. they use power from sunlight. Mm. That is solar. Like that. Yes, Rwanda. Okay. That has genocide for more than 15 years. Mm. Today, they are using, majority of their cars are using solar. Mm. Today in Nigeria, I can count more than 300 cars I see that use solar. Are we achieving SDGs in Nigeria? Mm. So these are the government laws that are there. But the implementation in Nigeria, I don't know who is the fault. I don't know who is at fault. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it me, you, mm -hmm. and is it the government? I don't know who is to blame, mm -hmm. okay. seriously. Okay, so one last one before you go, like, what of advice to we? Because sometimes we are actually the problem. We should actually, it's not hard when you fall a tree or you're in a place there's no tree, you should try and plant one, not try it to grow and it will help the environment. Yeah. So one last word. To people out there. Actually, okay. the first thing I want to invite to the media like this is one, you need to call people like us to create environmental awareness mm -hmm. regularly. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a compulsory because environment affects economy, it affects life, it affects health, it affects everything of life, mm -hmm. if you don't know. Now, call people that have environmental expertise. Talk to them. Let them talk to community. Apart from this talk, it will end like this? No. Mm -hmm. Because in my office, I talk about environment. 
If I branch, I see issues that is meaningful to environment in a community. Mm. Okay. I can mention all of them. I will branch and seek permission to the rural area yeah. head, and I will gather people and talk to them about environment. Now, more of our kind are needed for awareness. That is the number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, as I'm talking to the government, we have uh, Mr. President, we have the Nelson Wiki, the Minister of the Capital Territory. I believe he's an environmentalist and his enforcement to environment. You had the issue he brought about Fulani people roaming about with cows in the town and they cause a lot of hazardous substances. They defecate there, they cause accidents, and that is environmental degradation. You see people cutting trees and they build houses where it is not supposed to. Mr. Nelson Wiki is trying his best and he's trying to see that all this means that he curtail in Potako is trying to bring them in Abuja. Mm -hmm. I love that man because of the kind of innovation is bringing about environment. Mm -hmm. We're really celebrating him. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating and we are encouraging him to invite people like us, environmentalists and many other people to come together and create more solutions to, to Abuja. Mm -hmm. If I tell you the final word, Wallahi Abuja in 1980 to 1990, mm -hmm. the temperature is not up to 25%, mm -hmm. even in the hot season. Mm -hmm. Today in Abuja, it's reached up to 35 mm. degrees Celsius. Why? Because we are defleeting the, the environment, we are cutting the trees, we are removing the water, because when you cut the trees, the, the stream, the water are going and evaporate to the, to the sunlight. Mm. So that is a minus. Mm. So I'm encouraging each and every one of us to plant a tree, mm. to reduce the number of cars that are using fuel, mm. or don't even use them frequently. Okay. Reduce combustion. Mm. Because it's causing a lot of natural disasters. Mm. We cannot stop it. Mm -hmm. Many other things we can do. Mm -hmm. As I said, if you call me to change your generator to gas mm -hmm. that is not depleting the world, mm -hmm. definitely I can do that. Mm -hmm. Use your gen, use your gas to fuel your what mm -hmm. generators that are used fuel and gas. Mm -hmm. But those things are detrimental to our environment. It kills a lot of animals. It gives a lot of hazard to children that you are giving birth to. It reduced the sight of our eyes. Mm. Me and you supposed not to see the way we see now. Mm. It's all environmental hazard that is reduced. My eyes are red. They're turning red. You're a young lady and you, you see your eyes. Mm. You don't know. It's environmental hazard. All okay. this combustion that you're giving you by your car, by your gen, by whatever. Mm. Mm. It's what is causing it. Yeah, okay. Your skin needs a lot of uh, preservation. Yeah, okay. You're causing a lot of... Mm. Uh, so all these things, we need to preserve environment so that we can survive well we can create a harmony between mm. us and the nature. Okay. That is my say about wow. it. You, you really said a lot. So you told us a lot. So happy to have you Definitely. here Thank to you enlighten much. us and also open our eyes to some of the manners that are actually being caused by the human um, um, mismanagement of the environment exactly, and all that. Man. So thank you for coming on the program. So you've told us a whole lot like we should um, plant a tree. In fact, that's one of my taking. We should plant a tree because no, when, no. Uh, when you when you cut one, you should plant ten. ten so even me planting one is not even enough. Not enough. We'll it's try not our enough. best. Certainly, so thank you for telling us and opening our eyes to some of these menaces thank we cause much. ourselves. Exactly. So we've been speaking with Ahmad Abdul Wahab. He's an SDG Global Observer and also an environmentalist. And he has told us a whole lot to actually make our environment a better place. So you plant a tree in your corner, I plant a tree in my corner, and we all make the environment a better place. We'll go on a short break, and after that, the program continues.